And all right, let me go to slides, I guess. You know, do it big. <laughs> all right, here we are. All right, tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the key facets of lean and agile organization transformation. But before I start with that, one of the things that I want to say is that I've always enjoyed attending these meetups be very simply because over a period of time, I've come to appreciate some of the tips and the insights that I don't think I would have ever come across uh, in my normal reading or talking to other people. And so I really appreciate the opportunity to kind of give back to the community and share some of my tips and insights. So thank you for everybody who's attending tonight. Starting off this thing, one of the things, uh, starting off this presentation, one of the things I do want to point out is that anyone who's involved in going, involved or going to become involved with an agile transformation, you should be aware that business agility is a journey and not a destination. The only constant is the change because of the business environment we live in today. Now, I want to go ahead and bring your attention to the special chaos report, which was alluded to in the introduction. Essentially, what you're looking at here is the chaos report on pro project management and also various different projects. They've now moved into the arena of digital transformation projects. The information that you see here is based on data collected between 2000 and 2016. However, I found it to be still very accurate. But what's interesting is that it really hasn't changed. And the reason why I say that is very simply because I, I get an interview with a lot of companies and just to go ahead and share one instance with you. I had, a, uh, had an interview with a large healthcare company and the interview was going well and everything. But one of the things that I found interesting was the fact that they had strategy in the job description. And I thought to myself, well, okay, this is a, this is a big positive. So what I did was I, I pointed it out and I asked them, I said, so you're using strategy. How long have you been doing this? You know, when did this start? And the guy thought about it and he says, well, we've been doing this since 2017. Now this interview took place in the summer of 2021. And I says, well, that's really interesting. Uh, can you tell me what progress you made to date? All of a sudden, the line went silent. And then this individual just went off explaining how big the organization was. And, you know, they do so many things and stuff like that. Now, I could have been nasty and say, well, you know, I understand that, but that's, you're not answering my question. Actually, I didn't, I didn't say it very simply because his reaction basically told me what I wanted to know. The other thing that I've also noted is that in reading a book that was recently published in 2019, one of the facts that came up in that was a survey by Gardner. And it was a survey of 500 senior executives. And of all these ex of the 500 executives who were, who were involved with digital, uh, digital strategy across the enterprise, only 27% of those executives had a cohesive plan for that strategy. So I just found it interesting because we we're talking about 27% and we're talking about digital transformation projects and this is saying 28%. So one of the things that I clearly see time and time again is that we're not making the inroads that we should be making on this.